I did a summer research project on Nanetta Runnels for Special Collections and I brought her history to life and made it really visible and tangible in terms of reaching out and seeing what she did on campus. Special Collections is the repository for the college's rare books, literary manuscripts, and also the college archives. And you'd like to know why it's special. Um, well, first of all, by the very nature of our materials, we have materials that isn't, aren't found anywhere else. Um, so it's really a fabulous opportunity for all of our patrons to handle things that are very unique. Sammy was hired as a summer research assistant through this program, which is administered by the Dean of Faculty's office. And they pay her wages for a certain period of time throughout the summer. I was going through and actually cataloging student life and organizations and her name just kept coming up again and again and again. I had seen it with, you know, Runnels in the theater and Runnels Hill, but I didn't, I had no idea who she was. Ninetta Runnels is one of those um, groundbreaking, uh, significant figures in the college's history that really changed the culture. She, she changed people's minds about the importance of equal education for women. So Nanetta Reynolds was Dean of the Women's Institute at Colby College. Before that she was a student here, but she was actually one of the women really important for early advocacy for female students on campus, for resources, for dorms, and eventually for making sure that they also, along with men, were moved on to Mayflower Hill. As the school was talking about moving on to Mayflower Hill, they also were talking about the potential of creating a full co-institutional system and leaving women behind on old campus in downtown Waterville. In 1928, she realized that this was happening and she realized that there was a huge economic disparity already happening between what was being given to the men and women's divisions. And she obviously, due to the economic disparity she had seen, didn't want this to happen because she knew that either women would get less of an education than men at this Colby institution, or eventually, economically, it just wouldn't be feasible after a while, and they would have to stop the, the development of a women's institution altogether. Even though I started researching Nanetta Reynolds specifically, she quickly became a vehicle to learning about women and the social climate on campus in general, and beyond Colby in Maine, and beyond Maine in the United States. And her specific experience can be certainly applied to all of those circumstances in higher education. It's the climate around every single one of those interactions that really allows you to see what was Colby like. Uh, what was Colby like when she came here in the early 1900s and how did it change and how did she change it? She was tenacious and she wasn't someone who you said no to and she wasn't someone who was afraid to kind of step outside of the feminine, normative, quiet and meek. I mean, she wasn't any of those things. She was bold and she really stood in contrast to that as somebody who was going to fight and somebody who was going to have her, her opinion heard on campus. Sammy's project with Nanetto Runnels really has, has a lot of potential for on-campus interest because it's a great story and it, it, it talks about an important moment in our college's history. But as we were just talking with her, um, it has a broader interest because the AAUW, which is the American Association of University Women, are interested in um, having her give a presentation. So I think this particular project has a potential to kind of go out beyond the campus and really tell an important story to a broader audience. I hope that it allows women on campus to see that there is a legacy of activism here and that what we've been, the opportunity we've been given to study at Colby um, was a struggle and it wasn't something that was easily granted or easily attained but it was actually the blood, sweat, and tears of women who were from a far earlier time period and really advocated for us.